killer. Support of episode 22 came out yesterday, and overall, I don't hate it, but I don't like it either. It wasn't amazing, but it wasn't terrible either. Uh, overall, uh, the episode was, uh, of course, it was okay. It was like, if you, if you want me to give a score on the episode, it was like 2.5, 2.5-ish. Right, so it begins off where, where we left off in last week's episode, uh, where Sara, not Sara, the Sakura gets uh, taken to wherever the fuck Shin lives, I guess. And so we get the start of the episode with basically kind of just the motive of Shin, I guess. I don't really remember. I'm re-watching the episode as I'm recording it, but I still don't even remember like what this whole thing was about or what happened. But basically, he fucking kills off one of the fucking uh, kid Shins, and later on in the episode, we find out that the little children Shins are actually just clones of Shin Uchiha, and the reason why they exist is because they're basically just organ donors, essentially, and, well, yeah, they're exactly what they sound like, they're, they're organ donors, and that's pretty much it. The episode later on consists of Sarada finding out, like, I guess, who her real mother is, and I'll get into that in a little bit, but the beginning of the episode, uh, you know, they're talking about you know, Shin Uchiha having a whole arm, you know, consistent of Sharingan, and they were like, oh, the only person who can do that is Orochimaru, and Sakura and Shin, they were actually discussing about all this, like, genetics, there was a lot of genetics in this episode as well, and they start talking about that, and then Sa uh, Sakura also finds out that, you know, Sh uh, Orochimaru was kind of, like, all behind this as well. And so Sarada gets pissed off at Sasuke, and she's like, "Aren't you even like mad or upset that like mom got got taken away?" And he was like, "Well, uh, a part of being a shinobi is to not show off emotions." And I was like, "Well, <laughs> considering that you are Sasuke Uchiha, and you can literally fucking murder anyone, I don't think anyone would necessarily care." whatever right so Shin starts going off more in, in the next scene talking about genetics uh, in the past and revitalizing the Ho uh, not the Hokage I'm sorry the Katsuki uh, and bring up conflict because that's not what they're doing and he like he fucking like worships Itachi for some reason it's not really explained in the episode but yeah <laughs> But we also do see uh, Yamato in the episode, which I thought was in interesting because if you saw the end or the last few episodes of Shippuden, there were a couple of scenes where Orochimaru would be kind of like in the background and then Yamato would like follow him around and I was... That's kind of ironic, I guess. So, anyways, Naruto, Sasuke, Sarada, and Chocho, they all go inside the hideout where Orochimaru is. And considering what we know from Orochimaru from the past, you would think they would have arrested him, but no, they just have him on, like, severe security lockdown. So, yeah. <laughs> so, in, so, in the episode, whilst they go inside the hideout, they actually do meet uh, Soigetsu and Jugo. If you remember, those are members of Heavy and Taka from Shippuden in the beginning. So, later on in the episode, after they meet Orochimaru, Orochimaru discusses, like, Oh yeah, Shin, I haven't heard him in a while. Basically, I just kind of used him because his tissue, I guess, didn't reject any, like, uh, like, transmit. I don't fucking remember what he says, but... Basically, the whole, like, basis of Donzo's arm was basically from Shin. So... Yeah, that's a thing. So, later on, uh, Sarada is asking about uh, uh, Karin, and is like, do you know where this woman in the picture is? And so Getsu's like, yeah, well, she's in a different hideout, but we could run a DNA test on you or whatever. So, they do that, 
they do DNA tests uh, with Sarada and uh, Kier, uh, Kadeen's, uh DNA, and it's a perfect match. So that means Kadeen is the mother to Sarada, which uh, to me, because I haven't read the Gaiden, was surprising. But like I said, I haven't read the Gaiden, so I didn't know this. I just always kind of assumed that Sakura was Sarada's mother. But fuck me, right? I'm I'm just a fucking idiot for not reading the Naruto Gaiden chapters, huh? But whatever. Uh, Naruto's actually like around the corner or behind the wall where the room that we get to and Sarada are. And so Getsu, like, walks out because he's like, oh, I think I fucked up. I don't think I should have done this. And then uh, he's throwing at the Naruto, and the Naruto's like, yeah, well, I didn't fucking know about this either, you bastard. <laughs> and so Sarada starts crying and bitching and moaning, saying, like, oh, I don't even have a real family. My dad's not even around, and, you know, Sakura's not even my real mom, so w what the hell, right? And then she starts talking to Naruto like, You don't know how I feel. You don't understand the pain of not having a family. And I'm just sitting here like, You don't even fucking know. And it actually st starts showing a flashback of all the, you know, problems that Naruto had to go through in his lifetime of being hated by everybody, being rejected by everybody, and the struggles of him becoming a ninja in the beginning with Iruka and stuff like that. And then him finally getting the headband and then it skips off to the troubles of him with with Sasuke when they were younger and when they fought and then Naruto starts talking about it doesn't matter if it doesn't matter between you know past history or blood or whatever if you're a family what matters most is the feeling of love and they start showing off another series of, uh, of events in the past of when Sarada was younger and it's basically just showing that it doesn't matter if Sakura is Sarada's mother or not, she still cared and loved Sarada with all her heart and with the amount of love that she can ever give to a child ever, which, you know, was was more than what I got when I was growing up as a kid, so... That got really dark for me for some reason, but anyways, the episode ends off with, uh, you know, Sasuke getting his uh, Rene Sharingan and his internal Monkeka Sharingan back, his visual prowess, as he, as he called it, back, and he activated his uh, Susano, and it seemed smaller for some reason, but yeah, they go inside the Susano, and then they're about to head into wherever the fuck Shin is, and that's the end of the episode. Overall, like I said, the episode was decent, it wasn't you know terrible at all or whatever it was actually of course like I said very decent but yeah whatever it doesn't really matter but I, I would watch it if I were you but if you want to skip it that's fine you don't ha you don't have to watch it but I I would watch it of course just to see uh, just because if you are a person that read the Gaiden you would probably want to watch it animated but at the same time it's not the greatest animated but still it's probably just better if you do read the Gaiden so I'm gonna go ahead and put the video here uh, I finally got like at least a laptop to edit my videos on um, uh, in a couple of weeks or so uh, depending if we get uh, all of our insurance money and stuff like that with all the damaged stuff that we have in our house I may we may be able to afford myself a new computer so I'll be able to have a better computer to edit my videos on and then overall it's just going to be a better experience for me as a content creator for you guys so that's basically all I wanted to say and I haven't actually seen the newest episode of Dragon Ball Super so you may or may not see a review for that video uh, either later tonight or tomorrow you may see it tomorrow most likely but uh, I'm not going to confirm if you are going to see it later tonight Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like. If you're brand new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you next time.